Good morning. You are tuned to WOCG, Huntsville, Alabama. 90.1 FM, presenting the best in music and the spoken word. The weather forecast for Huntsville and the surrounding listening area. Patchy fog this morning, becoming fair by afternoon. Dormitory life on a college campus. It's not quite like home. But then, with 1,400 other students satelliting around you, you really wouldn't expect it to be. Different from other colleges, however, the students here at Oakwood are part of something that goes far beyond residence halls and campus life as such. They study hard and enjoy themselves, as you'll see, but Oakwood is primarily about the business of molding young lives for service after college service to a world in constant need of leadership. Oakwood's towering oaks and fragrant magnolias could probably tell some heartwarming stories about this campus and its students and faculty. That's because since 1896, when Oakwood was established as an industrial school, these trees have hovered over students who, in the words of our motto, have entered to learn and departed to worldwide service. What is the quality of their service? And how do we know that this service is worldwide? Well, let's look at the record. First of all, every year our student body is a veritable roll call of the United Nations. Students are here from the Caribbean, England, France, Asia, Africa, and of course, throughout the United States. Our display of flags at the entrance of our library pays adequate tribute to our fine international family. And the family we are. From the very start of the day, our students are rubbing shoulders with different cultures, different nationalities, different accents. And they all have one thing in common. They come to Oakwood to lay the foundation for their lives. They could have gone elsewhere, of course. They could have enrolled in a school back home or not have gone to college at all. But they come to our campus from 44 states in the U.S. and 38 countries abroad. Our main strategy for winning the race is that of putting all our growth and vitality into the total development of the student. We do that first with quality building facilities. The Eva B. Dice Library, named for the first black woman in the world to qualify for the Doctor of Philosophy degree in the discipline of English. Dr. Dykes is presently Professor Emeritus at Oakwood College. There are more than 90,000 volumes here, but books are just the beginning. There is an archive full of yesteryear's possessions of Oakwood's splendid history. Across from the library, there is the C.E. Mosley Religion Education Complex built in 1978. Here, all religion classes are taught, and Oakwood's enduring commitment to Christian standards 
reinforced in academic encounter. If you walk by the G.E. Peters Fine Arts Building, you will probably hear a few arpeggios or a vocalist or two. That's because the music department is here. They print the blue. And you may see a few budding Picassos or Rembrandts in the art department as well. Take after you've got the whole basic. There is the W.R. Beach Natatorium with a mammoth swimming pool providing not only an excellent opportunity for physical education majors to expand their learning, but an exciting recreation option for the entire student body and faculty. There are many other attractive buildings on campus that contribute to the mystique of Oakwood College. One that we must have you see is our newest addition, the science complex. Here, classroom instruction and research is conducted in well-equipped labs. This is where pre-med and pre-dental students get the basics that place them in some of the country's finest professional schools. As a matter of fact, Oakwood ranks number eight in the nation in the matter of placing blacks in medical programs around the country, a fact of which we are justifiably proud. Okay, then when we move to the line exit to three. But our success stories are not just about those who are academically gifted. We are winning the race by training the minds and skills of the academically deprived as well. We consciously reach for those youth whose pre-college learning gaps make college acceptance for them difficult in many institutions. How do we meet the challenge of our dual educational responsibilities without lowering our high standards for excellence? We do so by offering a well-balanced program of study leading to three baccalaureate degrees, the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Science, and the Bachelor of General Studies. In addition to the three basic degrees, there are a number of associate degrees. In all, 13 departments of instruction, from chemistry to communications, and from nutrition to nursing. And if by chance a student expresses a desire to major in a field in which we do not offer a degree, Oakwood has designed a consortium arrangement with nearby Alabama A&M University to provide the necessary courses and credits. We also offer summer graduate programs in education and theology. An extension study program has recently been started in the Bahamas and plans are now underway for other extension schools in Bermuda, Haiti, and the Virgin Islands. One very helpful aspect of the program at Oakwood College is the individual attention given students by an outstanding faculty, one-third of which holds the doctorate degree. And what are the results of this committed endeavor to take students from where they are to where they need to be? The best barometer may be that participants in our remedial programming, called Inner College, show a 20% increase in the level of their academic performance. But giving of oneself in purely academic pursuit is only one dimension of Oakwood's three-dimensional thrust. The second dimension is the practical, the development of various skills. In this respect, Oakwood is winning the race by providing labor for 81% of its student body. They work at the college dairy, where there is a herd of 200 cows. To a city slicker, that might not sound like much, but Oakwood's dairy is one of its best paying industries. The college laundry provides jobs, as does the college furniture factory. Here, Oakwood students assemble five to six hundred pieces of furniture a week for Harris Pine Mill, a major supplier 
for such large companies as Montgomery Ward and Sears Roebuck and Company. They work on the ground, helping Oakwood remain the place where loveliness keeps house. They work in the auto mechanic shop and the greenhouse, the bakery, the deli, and snack bar, the print shop, and of course, our unique and highly successful literature industry. And much of the money they make from work is used to help pay their tuition. It develops discipline and good working skills as well. Then there is the third dimension, the spiritual. Oakwood is winning the race by requiring each student to enroll for a minimum of 12 hours of Bible instruction. That existed around 2500 BC. And at Oakwood, worship is special. At sunset each evening, our residence halls ring with voices of music, praise, testimony, and instruction. And there are other spiritual activities in which our students are involved. For instance, Operation Outreach, a program which carries students into the Huntsville community and surrounding areas to counsel, teach, sing, and pray in hospitals, nursing homes, and private residences. Then there's the College Choir, which provides our students an excellent opportunity for cultural development while rendering spiritual service. And of course, sincere service demands sincere efforts to understand people. And what better way to do that than through learning to understand the one who gives life to all of us. But how do we know that this three-pronged approach to winning the race really works? Well, our graduates have proven that when you blend quality education with an attitude of service, you are structuring a winning recipe. And we'd like for you to meet a few of our products. Twelve years ago, I left a ghetto in Baltimore, Maryland to matriculate at Oakwood College. At that time, I was, to put it kindly, an undisciplined youth. If someone had told me at the time that I would one day be a chaplain at the Naval Academy, responsible for the spiritual well-being of more than 4,600 students, to me, the idea would have been absurd. I am what I am to a large extent because of the training I received at Oakwood College. My training at Oakwood College did not cost. It was an investment which is still paying dividends. My experience as a missionary overseas has really shown me that there are people who are less fortunate than we are, people who need our loving care, people who need our help. And even at home, there are people who need our loving care, who need to know the meaning of love and caring. So it goes that my experience, which I had at Oakwood, has helped me to be able to respond to these needs. America had many harsh days towards its black citizens. Educational opportunities were denied us. We were expected to fail. But at Oakwood, people believed in you. They assumed you were capable and bright. My teachers were kind, patient, and dedicated when I was there. Even today, Oakwood and Oakwoodites know what they're all about. Oakwood College is a place for students today a place where they will learn to accept the challenges to meet today's society. As a result of being a student of Oakwood College, you leave with a determination to succeed, to succeed as a producer, 
rather than as a consumer. Excellence is her goal, and we have accepted the challenges of excellence from Oakwood College. The interaction with the faculty, my relationships with the other students, helped to motivate me to find a productive place in society, a place where I could perform some useful function as well as serving my fellow man in a beneficial way. I believe I found that place here at Social Security as Deputy Commissioner, and the training I received at Oakwood College could not have prepared me better for the sensitive position I now find myself in. I continue to support this fine institution because I believe they're doing the same thing today for students that they did for me. To put it simply, Oakwood is proudest of all of its graduates. It means that we're on the right track when it comes to shaping and molding young lives. Since 1896, we've had a hand in the development of some 30,000 students, and we don't intend to stop now. So what's next for Oakwood College? For starters, we plan to be around for a long time. We have to be, because more and more students are looking to us for guidance and development. Our growing enrollment proves it. What was 550 students in 1971 has now become 1,418. And the beat goes on. Every year, we are forced to look for new and better ways to accommodate this burgeoning enrollment. For instance, we now have on the drawing board plans for a new high-rise residence hall and a new multi-purpose recreation center. One of the administrators chiefly responsible for our school's academic credibility is Dr. Rosa Taylor Banks, first female officer of the college and executive assistant to the president as well as vice president of institutional advancement and planning. One of the chief concerns of institutions of higher education today is that efficient fiscal management shall give a prominent place to long-range planning. Speaking comparatively in relationship to its other generic responsibilities, Oakwood College has determined that long-range planning is very vital to the success of its institutional operations. Around here, long-range planning is a magic word. Our planning process is hierarchical, starting at the base or the grassroots level of the institution and moving up toward the apex for decision making. Our annual planning process is implemented in sequential cyclical phases. We first of all analyze our historical and current data on the mission, the programs, the resources, the students, the faculty, and the financial and physical resources. And then we establish our goals, our objectives, our programs, targets on students, faculty, staff, finance, and our other physical resources. Then we develop and implement our operational plans to achieve goals and targets. We then allocate required resources to implement these plans. We establish control systems and checks and balances to assure implementation and desired outcome. And then finally, we evaluate the outcome through quantitative and qualitative measurements. To achieve our institutional PME process, our planning function triggers this mechanism to collect data, to analyze data, to suggest alternatives, and then finally to produce a blueprint for the college's long-range program plan. But few institutions can get along successfully solely on careful and efficient planning. They must also have dynamic public relations and marketing. Oh, you must have that true religion. Must have that true religion. Must have that true religion. No, you can't cross here. Oh, and among other things, we have as our chief PR instrument a musical touring group named the Aeolians. They are the best goodwill ambassador group a college can have. This group has performed in over 76 American cities, and as U.S. Friendship Ambassadors, 
they have responded to invitations from Romania, Scotland, Wales, and England. And they've got the sound to make even Shy Dye and Prince Charles stand up and take notice of Oakwood's superior product. see, we're a small private school, but we're not afraid of running the same course as the big boys. And if you don't mind our saying so, we're passing a lot of racers and we're not looking back. Oakwood is moving. Oakwood is building. Oakwood is a winner. <laughs> what you have just seen is the profile of an institution unique in mission and determined in its will to maintain high academic credibility. Double-digit inflation, increasing unemployment, and the lessening of student aid on the part of the government all make the task more difficult than before. But Oakwood College and the wonderful system of black private higher education of which we are a part is determined to win the race. And we must win because frankly, as the record demonstrates, we do the job better than anybody else. And how is it, you ask, that these schools, which enroll 25% of blacks who attend college in America, graduate 75% of those who finish? It's simply that our students find on our campuses the kind of academic and emotional undergirding that their backgrounds so often demand. In other words, we specialize in the business of getting students through college. And what the black private school does better than anybody else is get them through with properly placed principles and priorities. But of course, as Oliver Wendell Holmes once observed, you can get run over in the right road if you just sit there. And we don't plan to just sit here. We recognize that lofty ideals and a glorious past are not enough. So we will continue to sharpen our managerial techniques, to broaden our academic curriculum, and to widen our sphere of influence and service in the community. But in order for that to be, the Oakwood story has to be told. And we hope now that you have heard that story, you will take pride in our achievements, and join us in this critical task of human development. It's one race, America. We all can win. Oakwood is more than pictures and people. It's a new birth of three-dimensional learning and service for taking wings and soaring to the mountaintop. Yeah.